Hey everybody, Ron McGarty here, Bushwick Real Estate Services. Today we're checking out 30 Lava Lane. This is just above Lake Clay Elm, custom built house that was just completed a month ago. Super, super cool. Wait till you see the inside. All right, as we come in the front door, we got this really nice entryway, big landing zone here for all kinds of stuff. A nice built in for coats and shoes and everything, keep that tucked away. Uh, so there's not a formal hall closet per se, but lots of room here. Uh, coming down to the left, we'll work our way clockwise through here. We've got this living room, a uh, formal living room. They've got a, a picture TV up on the wall, spiral staircase up to a library. Um, and then into the main living room, we had a gas fireplace there. And then this is vaulted up two stories, which is super awesome. Floor to ceiling windows everywhere here, which is gorgeous. Full nano wall over here. So that opens all the way up and you walk outside for seamless indoor outdoor entertaining. Plus it has this great feature of a built-in screen door on the nano wall, which is super cool. Uh, going outside, we've got a really nice flat patio, leads out to a pool hot tub setup, fire pit area, heaters, uh, gas hookups outside, and then just great, great view looking down at Lake Clallam. Uh, nicely landscaped as well. Kitchen, uh, huge island, lots of storage, um, giant, giant uh, range hood here, big range to go with it, lots and lots of storage, some with glass, uh, fridge is tucked in behind here. Uh, all these beams throughout, they are all uh, veneered on there, but they look super cool. Uh, it's got a scullery over here with just a second little fridge and microwave and all the appliances you don't want out in the kitchen. Uh, then there's two master primary suites in here. Uh, this is the one on the main floor and it has a slider out to the outside. So again, there's the outside we we're just checking out uh, with the view of the lake. The lake's extra low right now. Normally it's a lot higher. Um, and then we got the bathroom here, all curbless showers. So really just nice and flat into here. Heated floors. Uh, Big vanity with two sinks, and then a window behind the mirrors, which is kind of cool to see, see the outside. All right, heading down, there's the stairs to the bedroom side of the upstairs. We'll go in a second. This is the main floor bathroom. So it's a three quarter, not just a powder room, which is nice. Another shower with curbless as well. So easy access for ADA, wall mounted uh, toilet, and then uh, this kind of plaster-ish paint. Uh, this laundry room's over here. So nice shelves and storage. They've got all their you know, cleaning stuff set up here. Really nice LG appliances. And then this is a storage room, tankless hot water heater, and then the two electrical panel, panels there. So two 200 amp panels, plus a sub panel out in the garage. And then we have one bedroom here. They've got set up with basically three beds. So bigger one down, two up, all built in. Floor to ceiling windows in here as well. And then this has a slider out to the at the front yard. Uh, nice little nook there for a desk and then really good sized closet as well. Uh, let's go, we're gonna go up and check out the bedrooms now. So on this side of the house, we've got this whole staircase. There's storage underneath the stairs, obviously. Um, coming up to the upstairs, we've got a big uh, kind of family room up here. What I love about this is that it's got a, an amazing view of the lake. And then they took advantage of this big roof that covers the dining room and the patio to still make huge windows with lots of light, but not um, not being up too high. Uh, bathroom here, so another shower, curbless design, which I love, vaulted ceilings in here, heated floors, and all that. Uh, bedroom here, got closet, and then this is above that bedroom on the, the downstairs that we were with a slider out to the front. This has a slider again to the front, but to a patio. Looking out on the yard. And then this also has three beds in it. So one, two, three with a bunk set up. Mini splits in every room. So uh, this room has its own, so basically every room has a mini split. Uh, and this is the second primary master uh, closet over here. Vaulted ceiling, French doors out to a patio as well. Great views of the lake. And then you also see down to the pool and the rest of the yard. Uh, so beams in here, and then it's got these barn doors, which are probably the nicest barn doors I've ever seen. So there's no, there's no ugly rail. There's nothing on the ground. They're rock solid, so I can move them. And then unlike regular barn doors, they just flop around. They're, they have soft clothes. 
So it's all on this pivot point right here. Um, so they're absolutely amazing, really, really nice. Uh, so this bathroom's got one sink on the vanity, uh, tub, soaking tub, so this is the big soaking tub for the house. Another uh, curbless shower, super nice, and then another wall-mounted toilet there. And then nice, toasty, warm floors. So these are set, uh, we got them, the inspector has these dialed up right now. Um, and that wraps up the upstairs. We're gonna go check out the other upstairs. So quick layout in the house. So there's actually, that's the upstairs of the two-story two living room. And then behind this wall is the library. So it's, but it's only accessible from the downstairs. So it's like two towers up here. We're back in the main living room and we're gonna go up the spiral staircase real quick. These windows here are crazy cool. So they actually awning in. This one unfortunately hits the slider, or sorry, the spiral stair. The upstairs one doesn't. All the windows in the house are triple pane um, and floor to ceiling. So it's just stunning how much window is in this place. Uh, so this is another same window. Uh, this one does open all the way and just stops. Looks like I got a little, little bug there. Little bug, go outside. Um, and then this is the library room. So this is super cool. We've got floor to ceiling here. So it feels giant. All these windows looking on the lake. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Trees starting to change color. Uh, wall of shelving, built-in desk, some seating areas here. And then this really nice uh, window nook here where you can kind of chill out and look out on the lake. See the fire pit down there and all that. All right, that wraps it up. Backyard from this angle. So there's the door we came out earlier, fire pit. Pool setups over here, uh, so the cover's on right now, but it comes back automa automated. It is a hot tub on one side, pool on the other with a divider if you want. Otherwise, it's just one big pool, warm pool. And then you've got this kind of infinity pool effect looking out onto the lake. Lots of landscaping here, these gorgeous windows. And then fire pit area down here. And then we're gonna go check out the sauna space down in the, the basement over here. All right, so now we're gonna check out this kind of cool space. It is totally detached from the house. So to get here, you've gotta come around either from up the back door and down or from the garage side and down. It's probably gonna be a little treacherous in the winter with snow, um, but once you get down here, it's super cool. So it's a finished off basement. They got a pool table set up down here, TV, um, sauna, which is super cool. So nice big sauna here, you can fit a lot of people. And then they've got a, a bath here with a shower, the first non curbless shower in the whole place. Um, and they've got a little bit of storage closet in here, and then that kind of wraps it up. Um, so once you get down here, it's a kind of a cool escape, but it's a little gonna be a little bit hard to get here in the winter, but totally worth it once you get down here. All right, and here's the garage. We've got a two car detached garage, and then But otherwise, that's the garage setup.